right guys so today is my birthday I'm super excited I'm not feeling the best I kind of woke up feeling I don't know if it's allergies or I'm getting sick but I still decided to come out thrifting anyways um, I went to one of my favorite thrift spots already I got that stuff in the back and then I'm heading into my second favorite spot which you guys know is probably savers I film in here all the time um, and I don't have a lot of time though because my son gets out of school in about an hour so I have about an hour in here um, we're gonna head inside and see what we can find.
All right, guys, so I just got home. I feel like the thrift gods must have known it was my birthday today because I did get some really good stuff and I can't wait to show you guys. I did not get a lot of footage when I was out and about. I was kind of rushing. And of course I had to go grab my favorite boba drink um, just because it is my birthday. And um, I had to treat myself, but let me show you guys everything I got because I'm super excited. All right, guys, so you know my back end is kind of messy. I need to clean it but this is where I'm always tossing all of the stuff that I pick up um so anyways I got this Tommy Bahama men's zip up jacket Tommy Bahama stuff has just been selling for me lately so I've been picking it up and I've sold quite a few Tommy Bahama pieces in the last couple weeks this was only $6.99 men's size large has the embroidery nothing fancy but I think that'll sell for at least 25 bucks and then I got these, you guys. It's been so long since I found teaks. And these were only $9.49. They're like a silver metallic. Good size, women's size nine. Pretty good condition. I'm just super excited. I know comps have probably gone down a little bit on teaks since the last time I found a pair, but regardless, I'm just so excited to find them just because I haven't found them in a while. These I picked up based off of Style, this brand, Soft. I pass on it probably 80% of the time, but I will pick it up if I like the style um, because the quality on these shoes is amazing. The retail is actually pretty high. These are genuine leather. We're getting closer to sandal season and these are in like new condition. So very little cleaning on those. Um, so these I pick up style based, price based and condition. You guys will notice I got a lot of sandals just because I want to prepare for the spring and summer. I've already been selling some sandals. So these are Dansko. Um, I don't pick up all Dansko, but again, amazing condition. These won't require, you know, hardly any cleaning. Good size, Euro size 39, and a cute style. I got these Ugg sandals, which I thought were really cute. They're kind of fuzzy. Again, really good condition. Paid up a little bit for these, but... Um, I had a 20% off coupon, so 20% off of all the prices you guys are seeing. I got three pairs. These are all really big sizes. They're men's 13, and then I think one is a men's 14 of these, like, Swift Water Crocs. Um, pretty good condition. Just very minimal cleaning. I think they were all priced around this price, which is a little more than I like to pay for Crocs, but this is a good style. Sorry, there's was a school bus going by but this is a really good style and I did have my 20% off coupon okay uh, now somebody's car alarm is going off okay and then the other two pairs of men's crocs look like this they're basically just like an outdoor water croc um, they're a little dusty a little bit of dirt but these are super super easy to clean and the tread is actually really good um, so yeah I paid a little bit more than I like to for Crocs but since we're coming into that season these are really large men's sizes and then I had my 20% off coupon I still think I can make at least a $10 plus profit on these 10 to $20 profit um, and like I said they're easy listing and then these I was really excited about I just sold this brand it's John Barbados this is definitely a brand you want to add to your bolo list my nails are terrible you guys um, I need to repaint them, so sorry about that. But John Barbados, made in USA, and these are a men's dress shoe in a really nice size. Um, I just sold a pair of John Barbados boots, and they sold for $100. These ones look almost brand new, you guys can see, and I think they're a really good men's size. They're genuine leather, um, men's size 13, which is like my money size. These always do really good. And these were $17.49 with the 20% off. So I'm guessing the dress shoes will at least be probably like a $60 plus sale. Okay, and then I have two more things to show you guys back here. This didn't have a brand on it, but it is genuine leather and it's pretty heavy, really nice quality. This belt buckle is pretty heavy. Um, it's got all the little jewels in there. And then I thought the belt itself was really pretty. It's got like the crosses and it's like a croc embossed leather with the studs on the end i have to do a little bit more research in this but it on this but it does say it's genuine leather and yeah just a really really nice belt this was only uh let's see 3.99 with the 20 percent off discount um and a super easy listing so i 
grabbed that and then I grabbed one more thing. I needed to do a little more research on this too, but I quickly just Googled this brand and it looks like a lot of these hats people are listing around the $100 price range. So I didn't really look at sold comps. This is just like the listing prices. So I need to do some more research, but this was only what, $349. It's like a big brim hat with the leather strap. So I don't know, I'll look into some more comps and I'll pop those on the screen for you guys. But for that price, I just went ahead and grabbed it. All right guys, and here is the other part of my car. You guys can see it's stuffed with shoes. So this was a different thrift store, but check these out. These are UFOs, but they're platform. And they're like a rose gold and black. Such amazing condition. Just a quick wipe down. I've never seen the platform ones before. I think these are so cool. Um, these are a women's 10. So also a really good size. Super excited about those. I got some clothing in here. There's like a men's Oakley polo. I actually have two. Um, I just thrifted another one the other day. I'm gonna see if they're the same size and I might lot them together. This is so stinking cool. I love this. It's a Puma Peanuts. You guys know how I am with my collaborations, but it's a Peanuts collab Puma t-shirt. But look, it's got the little Puma Peanuts on the back. Just a super cool t-shirt. And it's got this little logo here. Love that. I got this shirt for myself. This is a Nickelback like tour tee. You guys, I grew up listening to Nickelback and I don't care what the haters say. I love their music. Um, so don't come at me for that, but I freaking love Nickelback uh, music. It brings back like tons of memories for me. Anyways, um, these are men's rock revival shorts. This is just like a vintage t-shirt with the dragon on it. It is by The Mountain, size small. This is actually a pretty good brand if you find it. They make a lot of really cool graphic t-shirts. And I thought that one was neat. I got two pairs of 501 button fly women's cutoff shorts. This is just the time of year to start getting these listed. So I got two pairs of those. And then this Nike top is new with tags, nothing crazy, probably like a $20 sale, but I didn't pay very much for this. New with tags, extra large. It's cute, it says Nike Pro in the back and then it's got like this cute little like cross detail in the back here nothing crazy. I got two Lululemon tops. So this like ribbed Lululemon, it's got the logo right there, both in really good condition. I like this color a lot. And then this is the Swiftly tank top. These always sell super well for me. This one has some staining on it, but it looks like dust, like from falling on the thrift store floor. Like it looks like it'll just wash right out. So I'm pretty sure I can get that off. It literally looks like it got like ran over by a cart or something. All right, guys, for the shoes, you guys know I got tons of Brooks. Um, you guys see these all the time on my channel. Um, the Glycerin 20s, great model. I grabbed these, these were $12. They're just a Sperry duck boot. Um, these still sell pretty well for me. I don't pick them up all the time just because I haven't found any recently, but these ones, I mean, they look almost brand new. So grabbed these. They don't sell for as much as they used to, but they should still sell probably around like $35, $40. So, and that's an easy listing since they're pretty clean. Super excited about this colorway of Hoka's. I've never sold this colorway. And this is a newer model. This is the Clifton Nines, I believe. Yeah, these are the Clifton Nines. A uh, little dirty, but I can get them cleaned up. And yeah, I think these will do really good. The tread still actually looks good. Once I get it cleaned, it'll look nice. I got some Brooks. Um, these are the Ghost 15s, which is the newest model. Really good condition. Some on clouds here. Really nice. And then these Ultras. I got two pairs of these. I think the colorway is super cool on these with the white and the green on the bottom. And then the Bondies. Uh, these are the Bondi 8s, I believe which is a newish model of Hoka's. Let's see. Yeah, Bonnie 8s, and these are a wide width, so that's awesome. 
definitely got that pair. Some Asics down there. There's another pair of the Hoka's down here as well. I'm not gonna dig them all the way out, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the shoes. 